Hi everyone, it's Jojo. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, I wasn't able to go to any grad sales or anything like that this weekend. I was out of town for my niece's birthday. So I thought I would um, maybe go thrifting this morning. Um, I stopped at two different Goodwills and did find some really cool things. Um, actually, a couple of the pieces I had looked at previously, like within the last couple of weeks, but they were kind of expensive and they were up by the... Um, the glass case, they were locked in a, a case up by the register. So um, I was excited when I saw today that they were half off. So I'll show you those. Um, the first item I wanna show you, I have never seen this done this way before. It is a vintage tea strainer and it's been beaded like um, a craft, like a Christmas ornament maybe, but it's making a mess. It's getting those flex from the, like the, the gold is coming off of it but I thought it was really interesting I paid a dollar 29 for it and let me show you the inside like how it was done the inside the beads were so like they sewed them through the holes of the strainer which is really interesting let me know if you know when this might have been a popular thing to do I'm thinking maybe 60s 70s maybe or if you've ever done it um I wasn't familiar with this craft at all and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it I just thought it was so interesting and I just went ahead and picked it up um, the next thing I thought saw I don't know, the next thing I bought sorry I had not seen at the Goodwill before I am familiar with them I've seen them before but just not um, at the Goodwill I paid a dollar 29 for it and it's a, a vintage portable ashtray I think it'll clean up okay I I don't smoke or anything but I just thought it was kind of neat and um, I hadn't seen one before like that, so I went ahead and got that. And I picked up a Pyrex lid, which I always pick them up. Um, they're fairly inexpensive, but a lot of times you'll find the bowls without the lids, and so it would make a nice set when you find them. This is no chips or cracks in it, and it was 79 cents. This turquoise bowl is actually uh, one that I'm excited about. I paid $5 for the set and it was in the glass um, display case. Um, the candle holder does have a chip in it. I don't know that I'll even use those. I really wanted the bowl. I'm thinking maybe for um, to put clementines in or apples or something like that here in the kitchen. I just really like the turquoise color and it's made by Hager. It's uh, stamped on the bottom and it still does have its original foil stamp. Um, I am gonna have to clean it up, it's a little dirty, but um, for five bucks, I was super excited to get it. I paid $1.99 for this vase. It's a milk glass vase with the green dots peeking through. I just thought it was really pretty, and um, I'm thinking maybe I'll put that out for St. Patrick's Day. I really liked it. Um, not sure, at first I thought maybe Fenton made, made it, but I don't think it did. Um, it doesn't look quite like that. So I'm gonna have to do a little re more research on that. Um, I got this bowl, $1.99, it is glass, and it's silver, and it's a really good size. I'm thinking maybe for Christmas, I'll put like um, maybe ornaments in it, or I might do something with it, but I'm thinking more, um, I might use that for Christmas. And then this is the other piece that I had kept my eye on. It was in the display case. Again, um, I think I paid around five or six dollars for it. Um, I've already cleaned it up because uh, there was a couple marks in it and I wasn't sure if they were cracks or what they were. So I thought, well, maybe if I wash it up, um, I can tell better. And I don't see any cracks or chips, but there is the mark here that, um, definitely um just a defect from manufacturing but overall i mean it was in good condition um if you like milk glass uh these fenton ones are perfect i think they're beautiful the glass trim on the outside this is like a clear glass um trim i believe it's called silver crest don't quote me I, i'd have to look it up but i know that they come in different colors um, the ruffles on the ends, like the trim around it, and I know there's aqua crest and like different ones, so I think this is a silver crest bowl, but it's not marked, but it is definitely Fenton. And uh, five dollars for that, five or six dollars, um, was a perfect price, I thought. And it's a good size bowl, actually. I think it's around, um, 
I haven't measured it, but I'm going to guess maybe around 10 inches or so. So I was really excited about that. I got a vintage cocktail shaker with the lid. This is really, really, really heavy. I paid $1.99 for it. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think it's mid-century. Um, but I'm going to have to do more research on that. But I thought it was really neat, a neat piece to go with my barware set. So I got that. I picked up a couple books. Um, this one is The Five Little Peppers Midway. And I have a book. It was called The Five Little Peppers and How They Grew that I loved reading as a kid. Um, I believe it was my mom's. And so I picked this one up and it was half off. So $1.29, but I paid half of that. And then I got this Christmas book. It is darling. I have never read this book. I paid $1.25 for it. It's called Santa Mouse. And it was originally 1966, but this is, I don't know what printing this is as far as um, how many they did before this, but this is a 1975 printing. But it's the cutest little thing, and the pictures are so adorable of this little mouse. So I'm excited about that book. And then I just picked up a reference book. This is the Collector's Encyclopedia of California Pottery. And this was half off too. Uh, there it is. Uh, it was a dollar 29 also, but I paid, it was half off. I picked up this puzzle, a Superman puzzle from 1983, 100 pieces. I just thought it would be um, a fun puzzle to do here at the house. The boys would get a kick out of it. So got that. And lastly, I picked up a couple of vintage um, tableware and napkins. This one is a Christmas one. I uh, paid 59 cents for it. It says, Joy to the World. And there are um, 32 napkins in it. And they're all Joy to the World. It's the whole, um, all the napkins are that. But it's never been opened. Um, really cool. I definitely break that out at Christmas. And then I picked up a couple of vintage Hallmark um, Baby napkins, 59 cents, and these have 20 napkins to it. And then I also picked up the table cloth that goes with it too, and that was also 59 cents, so I thought those were neat. But that's everything I got. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you have a comment, please go ahead and feel free to comment below. Um, I love to hear what you have to say about any of the pieces. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already. I am so excited that I have made it to 100 subscribers. I think just over. I think when I checked it, it was 105. So I'm really excited about that, you guys. I um, didn't know when I started making the videos if anyone would watch them at all. I'm basically doing it because I love vintage items and antique things, and I thought somebody out there probably feels the same. So, so thank you very much um, to anyone who are watching my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. So I hope everyone has a great day, and I will talk to you soon, and hopefully I will get to um, maybe go to some grad sales this weekend. Um, so we'll see. So thanks so much, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.